O Christ worshippers, poem by Ibn al-Qayyim. O Christ worshippers, we have a question seeking its answer from those who allegedly understand. If the God was murdered by a people's action, what kind of God is this? Do you not understand? Was he pleased by what they did to him? If yes, glad tidings to them for achieving pleasure divine and grand. But if he was discontented of their action on him, this means their power had subj subjugated his power and command. Was the entire existence left without a God sustaining or listening to the supplications, let alone answer, from across the land? And has there become a vacancy in the seven heavens when he laid under the ground despite being above and beyond? And were all the worlds left without a divine being to manage while nails pierced his hand? And how dared the angels leave him wailing, not helping nor saving, while watching from around? How could the wooden sticks be bearing the weight of the true God when he was fastened? And how could the iron nails pierce him, thus harming him, did he fail to withstand? And how could his enemy's hands and grim reach him and slap his rear? Is this logical or sound? And was Christ to himself reviving or was there another reviver around amazing that a grave to god was confining stranger even is the belly in which he was inside for nine months he was remaining fed through blood in darkness shut eyed then he was pulled out of the womb as a small baby weak for milk he was gasping and open mouthed he ate and drank and did what that resulted naturally. Is this what you call a God? No logic found. High and exalted be Allah above the lies of Christianity. All of these liars will be held accountable for their libels so profound. O, cry, o cross worshippers, for what reasoning is exalted or blamed those who reject it and throw it on the ground? It is not logical for the cross to be broken along with the ones who innovated it and are crowned, since the God was placed on it while hating it and his hands were fastened well and nailed. That is really a cursed cross to be carrying, so discard it, do not kiss it, and when it is sighted around, the Lord of creation was humiliated on it and dying, and you worship it. You are one of his enemies as those in the holy land. If to the cross you remain exalting, because to the Lord of the worshipper it could withstand. And when the cross is hidden, then indeed, seeing what resembles it reminds of what happened. So why don't you prostrate yourself and worship grounds of burying, since in the grave your God was contained? So, Christ worshippers, wake up and start seeing that this is what the matter in entirety simply explained.